What's the kindest thing someone did for you when you were at your lowest point? I was raised by two alcoholics who rarely looked after me, so my hygiene was awful until I learned to do everything myself. As a result, my teeth were filthy, somehow they didn't rot, but to say they were stained yellow is understatement. I was made fun of by everybody in school for it, even continuing into high school. People would call me Cat Piss Connor because of the color, and the phrase the worst she can say is no is never applied to me. Girls wouldn't even sit next to me in class, let alone speak to me. I graduated high school having never kissed a girl, and had pretty much accepted that's the way it would be until the day I die. Nothing could have prepared me for my first day of college, when possibly the most beautiful girl I'd ever laid eyes on sat down next to me. We made eye contact, and she smiled at me, and I almost let myself smile back. I couldn't let her see my teeth. It seems as though she noticed, because the first thing she said to me was, in a playful tone, why are you making that serious face? I couldn't help but smile. I was expecting the look of disgust on her face to come, but it didn't. She had a full conversation with me and for the first time I didn't feel like a subhuman piece of dirt. After the class, she invited me to get lunch with her. I genuinely wondered whether somebody was playing a prank on me or not. As we sat there having deep conversations, part of me was waiting for the big moment where everyone starts laughing. Again, never happened. With a newfound sense of confidence, I walked to my next class, and on the way I was tripped by some frat guy. He told me to stay away from his wife. I apologized, and said I thought she was single. He replied, yeah and soon she won't be. So don't speak to her again or I'll knock those popcorn kernels out of your mouth. Got it? Yeah right. I spent years being bullied in school, and the first time something goes well for me some douchebag tries to take it off me. Not happening. I saw her later that day and asked her what his deal was. She told me they live in the same neighborhood, and she's rejected him on numerous occasions but he hasn't left her alone. But he is dangerous, and if I want to stop speaking to her she understands. I told her not in a million years could someone make me not want to talk to her, and her response was, at least wait till lunch tomorrow to give me that many butterflies. As she walked away, the frat guy came around the corner and saw. He ran up to me and pinned me against the wall and said, you must be stupid, can't you see she's playing with you? I mean seriously, you were clearly a loner in high school, what makes you think it's gonna be any different now? For no reason whatsoever this cut me deep. I knew he had a point. It was only a matter of time before I got my heart broken. I decided I had enough, and was set on fixing my teeth. I always pretended there was nothing wrong with how I looked, but it had ruined my life up to this point, and it was time to take responsibility. Yes my parents neglected me, but it is still my fault for neglecting myself. That weekend, I researched how to whiten my yellow teeth. I considered charcoal toothpaste and whitening strips, but they either harmed my enamel or irritated my gums in the past. I was even thinking about a bleach and tone until I learned xylitol and hydroxyapatite. Xylitol kills bacteria that cause decay, and hydroxyapatite strengthens enamel to prevent cavities. I also learned that fluoride can cause brown spots and weakened teeth, yet it's in all the toothpastes I've been using. I decided to search for a toothpaste with xylitol and hydroxyapatite instead and ended up finding one with the right dosage of each ingredient, and all the reviews were talking about how quick it whitened their teeth. I texted the girl that I was sick, and would be out for a few days. My plan was to give it two weeks and go back in to see her. She seemed genuinely upset that I wasn't. Coming in, and texted me for hours each day, offering to bring me soup to make me feel better. At this point I realized the guy was just being jealous, as this girl was doing way too much for a prank. As each day went by, my teeth got whiter and whiter and I genuinely felt good when I smiled in the mirror. A couple days before returning to college, I received some good news from the girl. She texted me, oh my god finally, the dude who threatened you got arrested for harassing women. About time they put that lunatic away, I sighed a breath of relief, since I was genuinely worried he'd follow up on his threat of knocking my no longer popcorn kernel teeth out. But that didn't even matter anymore since now my teeth were whiter than Taylor Swift, and I was finally free from all the insults I endured throughout my life. The night before returning to college I cried for a couple of hours after she told me how excited she was to see me. I'd never felt so appreciated. She waited for me at the entrance and when she saw me she ran towards me, and jumped into my arms. She looked deep into my eyes and kissed me. I know everything happens for a reason, and that moment made me glad no girl ever wanted me before. I was glad that my first kiss wasn't some sloppy kiss with a stranger at a party, and instead was one of the most beautiful heartwarming moments with the girl I wanted more than anything. I genuinely couldn't believe it. My plan had worked. I couldn't stop smiling as we walked to class together holding hands. I guess she noticed because she asked me if I'd gotten my teeth whitened, and I told her no. She said, damn I was gonna say, you're way too handsome to be wasting money on procedures. It was crazy how almost like magic, girls flirted with me everywhere I went. While it would have been nice to experience things, I knew there was nobody that could compare to the girl I was dating. We've been dating ever since. Edit. Oh my god I didn't expect so many people to get mad at me for not dropping the name of the toothpaste. It's called ORL.